Hello, welcome back to the studio. Thank you for joining me this time for Christmas. I have this present here, but no one to give it to. Let's fix that. To the workstation! I start with a cedar wood doll, as I am going to make a Christmas themed candy themed Lolita doll. Her skin texture reminded me of a cinnamon stick, and her face mold is perfect for anime eyes. I'm going past the face mold with white paint for the irises. Scleras, they're called scleras. Since this is a Christmas doll, I want her to be extra flushed, as if she's been out in the cold for a very long time. Of course, we don't want it to go too overboard, so sometimes I had to erase it. I started putting in the eyebrows with a Q-tip, and then I fine-tuned them with an eraser. Bright pink lips. And I start drawing in her irises with a green pencil. Though it doesn't get nearly pigmented enough. Blushing her body to give her the cold look. Mostly on the fingers, the wrists, the elbows, the knees, and the feet although a bit around the neck as well. It's unfortunate that her beautiful wood-like molding is disrupted by her molded on underpants and factory numbers. I wish they had done it like Lorna McNessie where she didn't have those, but oh well. Trying to get more vibrancy in the eyes, I wet my colored pencils as I'd seen other artists do, but it still wasn't working. I penciled in her liner and I started hashing her lashes and defining the eyebrows with some hairs. Gradients look good in eyebrows, so I darkened the ends of the eyebrows as well. Giving her lip lines. and then highlights. I then switched to acrylic paints to get the vibrancy in the eyes, starting with a base of dark green, I then mix a lighter shade of that green and give her a a halo-like ring under her eyes, under her pupils. I also had defined the lash line a bit more with black. Apologies for my hair blocking the view, but some of this footage was still salvageable. I'm fine tuning the eyes, correcting any mistakes, darkening her nostrils, and then giving her the dot highlights in her eyes. Also, exaggerating the blush even more. It's chilly out. Giving her freckles because she had some light staining on her forehead that I wanted to blend in as much as possible. And more highlights in the eyebrows. And now the catch lights. This is a Lolita dress that I made. I was very inspired by Delightful's Christmas dolls. Both of them were Lolita themed and I really liked the Christmas tree ones dress with the panels of Christmas themed items. If you want tutorials on how to make better clothes, uh, I will link Delightful's channel down below. I then hot glued this fancy bead thing that I found into a belt like thing. Onto the hair. I brushed out yarn and using the loose wefts, I start building up the hair. I don't like waiting for the dry time of the glue, so I usually use loose wefts unless I'm making a part.
my trick for doing the yarn whiffs very well is I put the hot glue down, put hot glue over the top of the weft, and then uh, wet my finger and press it down so I don't get burned. If I had a silicone fingertip, I would just use that, but I don't have any. The style we're going for is bangs and two low ponytails, so I plan it accordingly. I flip the weft over back on itself so that the ugly glue part is hiding, and then I glue that to the part line. I then take red strands to give her candy cane like highlights. I then tie her hair into two ponytails using braces elastic bands. You can get these from your local orthodontics office probably. I find them very strong and useful. I then feather out her bangs with some scissors and I flatten them with a hair straightener. Be careful when doing this on your doll as you could scratch or damage the face up. I accidentally hit it with the straightener and I damaged part of her cheek. I was able to fix it later but it still was a pain. I then razor the ends of her hair to have a more thin ends for a more natural look. And yes, she is tied to a doll stand. That's the only way I can get her to stand up. And there we go. I decided to name her Candy. It's a little on the nose, but it could be short for Candace. But I, now that we've exchanged presents, I think it's time for a snowball fight. What do you think? <laughs>